All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another first reviews reaction video with your boy Gore the Movie God. Hello, and I'm here to take a look at the first reviews for Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 1, which is coming out on Friday. And I am excited about it, even though a lot of the rumors, uh, not even rumors, I think it's pretty much confirmed at this point, but let's just say rumors for now, uh, about the story and what's happening in the series, uh, make it seem like He-Man's not going to be a big part of it, uh, which made me a little worried. Um, not about the animation, obviously, because it's powerhouse animations, but just about the writing and, and like what they're going to do with certain characters and stuff. Um, now, I haven't heard any reviews yet, um, but I assume it's probably going to get good reviews, but it could still be one of those things where, like, yeah, it's great, but it just doesn't feel like He-Man because He-Man's barely in it or something. Who, who knows? I, to be fair, I haven't watched He-Man since I was a kid. So I, there's super fans out there that love He-Man, that like love the lore and the weird characters and the toys. I don't collect the toys. I had toys when I was a kid. I didn't collect them, though. Um, so I'm not a super fan, but I am a fan, I, I would say, of He-Man. I love He-Man. Um, even though he's, a, I guess he was, he was for a little while a meme uh because the internet and that freaking amazing video you know the one i'm talking about but uh i'm hoping it's good and it's power ass animation so i know the animation is going to be fantastic will the writing be good will kevin smith's supposed super fan even though he said in the past he was not a fan will he uh write something good and i mean he's one of like five writers but whatever um i'm gonna if i have to guess on rotten tomatoes I know there's reviews. I don't know how many reviews. I might not even have a thermometer. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say probably around a 90%. That's that's most likely what's going to happen. Because I'm sure the series is going to be good. Um, so, let's find out. Where's my Rotten Tomatoes again? Uh, here it is. Alright. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got Sonic the Hedgehog. That's not what I want. Snake Eyes. No reviews for Snake Eyes yet? Come on. All right, let's see. Where is it? Should I do it? Maybe I should look it up. Maybe that will be easier or better. It doesn't show the score if you look this up. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay, 94%. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what the average rating is. Uh, okay, it does not have average rating. That's what I always like to look at. The average rating shows you what the actual score is. Oh, you have to click on... Okay. Never mind. There we go. That's it. Uh, armed with an incredible voice cast, Revelation smartly ad adapts uh, Masters of the Universe while retaining... By the way, that poster is amazing. This poster right here. <sighs> See that in high quality. It's fucking phenomenal. Uh, while retaining the quirky charms of the original to create a show that's bound to please fans and newcomers alike. Okay. So what's the average rating now? 7 point, almost 7, well, I guess we can round up 7.9. There's one rotten review. Okay, so 94%, 17 reviews. Okay, that's, yeah, that's great. There's Kevin Smith. I can't ever see his face without thinking of that crying face he, he made after he saw Captain Marvel, which I understood. I totally get why he cried. This is a little weird. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot Sarah Michelle Gellar is a uh, Tila, which I have a feeling Tila is going to be a very um, iffy um, character or a very polarizing character in this one because it seems like she's like the main character um but she's always been a main character so i don't really uh liam cunningham as man at arms what fucking perfect casting dude if, if this move if this show was a movie and it was like maybe 10 15 years ago he would be the perfect man at arms um uh for live action what a great choice um and there you go uh wait what so wait hold on. All right, so they don't have the episode names for the first five, but they do for the last five. I don't want to read those. What am I doing? I don't read those. You know, I'm interested in the Rotten Review. Can we see the Rotten Review first? Anybody here I know, by the way? Uh, Austin Burke I've heard of. I know him. I don't know him, but I know of him. IGN reviewed it. That's the only reason why I know. Oh, Grace Randolph. Jesus. She didn't like it. Um, Mark Cassidy. Tessa. Oh, there's Mama's Geeky. Um... Okay, so yeah, let's read let's read Grace Randall's review. Uh, feels like it's looking to upset well everyone from queer baiting to spoilers. Queer baiting. Oh, okay, damn. All right, uh, some good elements, but nowhere near the quality of powerhouse animations other st other shows. Okay, I mean they didn't write it, I guess, but uh, I guess they didn't write their other shows. It was a bunch of other people. Well, I'm not sure in house who wrote 
Maybe if someone in house wrote Blow Zeus. I don't know how that works, honestly. But of course, it was Warren Ellis that did Castlevania, um, which he, his ass has been canceled. But uh, at least we got a final season to wrap that up. Um, Mama's Geeky liked it, really liked the nine out of ten. Pretty much a masterpiece with an incredible voice cast, captivating story, and absolutely fire score. I feel like most critics nowadays, like, well, not nowadays, but like. Roger Ebert wouldn't say fire score, but long-time fans will love it. Newcomers will, too. I have a feeling long-time fans won't love it just because of He-Man not being a main character. But we'll see. I'll be watching it in a couple days. Uh, Master Universe Revelation retains much of the hokey charm of the 80s cartoon while introducing some much-needed dramatic heft. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, at its at its heart, Master of the Universe Revelation is a love letter to the world of Eternia from Kevin Smith and crew, and it's one that's most assuredly worth watching. Okay, so far all the positive reviews haven't really helped. I, I mean, I guess, I guess you know some dramatic heft and, heft and stuff, but I want a little bit more details of what's going on here. I don't want spoilers, obviously, just a little bit like uh, is from Nightmarish Conjuring's. Never heard of them. Um, of them. Uh, an adventure at every step. Maybe that's a YouTube, actually. Uh, an adventure at every step, hitting emotional and epic highs that will thrill viewers of any age. There's a lot here for original fans to enjoy, but Revelation stands firmly on its own merits and offers something exciting to look forward to. Okay. Uh, we have a Hulk, really? Someone made a either a website or a YouTube channel named We Have a Hulk. All right. While it's while it's a clearly while it's a clear. All right. I'm just gonna assume they. That was a mistake. While it's clearly a wonderful love letter to the original, the series also offers a bold new direction for both old and new fans alike. Okay. That's... I I feel like most of these quip... Uh, these little quip... Are they called quips when you just have a... I guess a summary. These review summaries have, have been very the same. When, using different words and stuff, but all of them have been like, yo, people are gonna like it if they old or if they new. <laughs> uh, IGN, Matt Fowler... Uh, Kevin Smith and his writers have very much created a niche product here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, I guess maybe nowadays it's niche, but I don't know. He-Man used to be a huge, huge brand. Okay. But it's a beautiful and engrossing, I mean, that that's, I mean, He-Man was huge. I don't think people realize how huge He-Man was. Um, but it's a beautiful and engrossing one that infuses Master of the Universe nostalgia with heartfelt storytelling. Okay. I mean, so far, I'm getting a lot of, like, it's beautiful, it has drama, it has action, it's gorgeous, it's, it has a good score, but I've, I just, I really want to know, like, some. Um, Grace Randolph, so far, has been the only one that has told me something, I'm like, what? He's <laughs> like, what? Um, Revelation is a much, this is from io9, by the way. Revelation is a much, uh, is a better and much more interesting show for doing more than merely going through a checklist of fan service, although there's still plenty of it to go around. Okay, uh, CBR, any review of Master of the Universe Revelation would be remiss not, in not praising the cast. It's absolutely top-notch. I mean, I feel like every time Powerhouse Animations gets a cast of voice actors, whether they be voice actors or just regular actors doing voice work, um, they always do a great job of casting. Perfect, like, perfect to the characters they are voicing. Here, this is the first time they're doing something where the characters have been established before. You can say Castlevania, obviously, they've been in Castlevania games in the past, but most of them are, you know, from char from games that where they were just a little sprite, you know, and, and some of them where they showed up, you know, like Trevor showed up in other Castlevania games, but it's very much like you could do whatever you want with that, and it's fine. Where, like, this, obviously, as people are being, again, a little upset because He-Man might not be the main character, you can't do it whatever you want with it while people getting a little upset. Uh, again, even if he is not the main character and the show is great, I'll say it's great. I, I, I'm not going to say it's great, but it sucks because he mans barely in it. It is called just Masters of the Universe. To be fair, the original was called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, but whatever. Um, it still should be called. It, it should still have He-Man in it a lot, which we'll see if that's the case. Even if He-Man's not in it a lot in the first part, that doesn't mean he doesn't show up in the second part a lot and he's like the main character again. I mean, that is a possibility, but whatever. Again, I haven't watched it, so. It's unquestionably thrilling with terrific anime-inspired visuals from Powerhouse Animation Studios, delivering action set pieces, the likes of which fans of the original could have only dreamed of. Yep. Uh, Que... Oh, that was from Radio Times, but Quibo. Uh, Kibo? Maybe Kibo. Uh, Kevin Smith is... Uh, yeah. I cannot say his name for some reason. Kevin Smith's revelation gives a worthy ending to the original series. Well, how do you know that? You... Did you watch part two? 
you watch part two <laughs> unless maybe part one ends it and then part two is a beginning of something else because i'm assuming no i'm assuming part two will also be called revelation right um whatever simultaneously respecting the spirit of master of the universe and involving it by taking risks that pay off okay the voyage uh here's my question question though is stinkor in it that's the only that's the only thing i really want to know stinkor and who else i'm trying to think of like can i think of a deep cut there's no way i'm gonna be able to think of a deep cut i would say like fisto but we already know he's in it he was in the trailer was stinkor in the trailer he might have been in the trailer actually i have to watch the trailer trailers again he might have been in the second trailer I don't know. I also, I need like a list. Oh, you know what? Maybe we, I should do that. Just look at a list of He-Man characters and see if I can remember any of them. That might be a fun video. Um, okay. Um, it can feel like a reboot, but the show does retain some of the inherent silliness of its prede predecessor, which I got a, that exactly from the um, the clip I watched yesterday. Uh, Revelations writers never met a terrible pun they didn't like. That's, that's amazing. I, I hope we get so many of them too. Uh, but why though? A geek community. Okay. Um, Bo, Bo uh, that was The Verge, by the way. I think I said that right. Uh, Both stunning animation, all star voice cast, and will appeal to longtime He Man fans and newcomers to the franchise alike. I, I swear, every review is the same. <laughs> I mean, these are summaries. I get it, but whatever. Um, uh, consequence. <laughs> It's a great website or YouTube. I don't know. While its twists are dramatic and more than likely to cause some impotent nerd rage. Oh, here we go. There's the first one. <laughs> Uh, it's still got its eye on delivering old-fashioned sigh. I swear, if you if you just don't like something that happens and you voice your opinion on the internet, then you're an impotent nerd. You're 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 you're, you're what's another word for uh, you're a loser besides just saying you're a loser. Like it, you can't just make a video like I didn't like that the character I grew up with was barely in the show. That's a reboot of the show that he was the main character of. You know. Um, just saying, She-Ra got her own thing. I mean, it wasn't exactly the She-Ra I grew up with, but that's fine. Um, perfectly fine. Whatever. They made, I think they made her gay. I think that's true. I haven't watched it. Uh, hopefully I didn't spoil anything. Um, <laughs> pretty sure I heard that, which is fine. Again, fine. That's great. I heard the show was good, too. So that's great, too. Just, you know, like when you make a He-Man show, make it about He-Man. Why can't He-Man just be He-Man? I don't like big broly eyes, like hello. I'm, oh man, I'm so fucking big, bro. <laughs> like he squeaks. Like that's how fucking big he is. He looks like a big balloon. It's still got its eye on delivering old-fashioned sci-fi, sci-fi, sci fantasy. I cannot say that science fiction fantasy, um, or science fantasy, whatever. Action of a type most he he fans should be happy with. Most. When he was writing this review, he knew he's like, I liked it, and if you don't like it, oh, I'm gonna call you names. Uh, Austin Burke. I don't watch his stuff, but I've heard of him. Uh, part one, shock factor will leave fans gasping for air, but the quality of storytelling is enough to make it worth binge watching. And the cliffhanger will make part two an essential watch. Okay. Yeah. I wish all these reviews wouldn't say how like, oh man, there's so many shocks. Because now I'm expecting all the shocks. You know what I mean? That's one shitty thing about like, I know earlier I said like, I want more um, stuff from these reviews, but I didn't want like spoilers. I wanted them to talk about like, like oh this this actor did a great job or or this character stole the show you know what i mean that's that's more what i wanted not like man there's so many twists i'm like all right now I'm expecting a bunch of twists i wasn't expecting i mean he-man is a show you probably would never expect a twist and if it is uh, there is a twist it's an obvious twist like oh skele oh it's been skeletor the whole time what a twist um oh it was evil lynn oh shit um uh, but why, though, again, this is a different review, though. Master of the Universe Revelation subverts expectations. Ryan Johnson made it. And because of this, it may not land with everyone. <laughs> that said, the series is definitely going to bring new He-Man franchise fans into the fold and works for both younger and older audiences. Okay. And last one is Flickering Myth. Master of the Universe has a great cast of characters, and we finally see them all shine in a new Netflix series. That's one thing I'm actually excited about, that all the characters are going to have something to do. Cause a lot of them were just kind of there. Just be like, I'm, I'm here. I'm locked jaw. Is that how he talks? I don't remember. Um, prepare for man at arms to steal a show. Hell yeah. Okay. There you go. That's what I wanted from all these other reviews. Just to say like little things like that. Just like little things like, Ooh, now I'm excited. Um, 
Okay, Man at Arms to steal the show. All right, cool. That sounds great. I love Man at Arms. I always felt like he was just like, you know, he, he was there. He did, he did a good job. But, you know, he was a memorable character, obviously. <sighs> it makes me want to watch some old He-Man episodes. Just, like, in prep. Because I know there's so many episodes of that. That it's going to be one of those things where I, I watch this and there's going to be references that go over my head. Because it's been, like, 20-something years. Um, not that long. But, you know, probably, probably about 20 years. Because uh, I, well... I probably watched He-Man a lot when I was around 10, so almost 20 years ago. Um, but anyway, cool, 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 cool. So those are the reviews, unless more at got added since I started, which I doubt. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, so there you go. Um, what's her name? Grace Randolph really didn't like it. Uh, or well, it seems like she liked it. She just didn't. Or no, not that she liked it. She didn't hate it. She thought there was good things about it, but uh, I guess I'll find out in a couple days. Doesn't these reviews reactions don't really matter in the long run? Because most of the time I'm just like, well, I'm gonna watch it anyway, for most of the things I cover. So it really doesn't matter. It's not like I watch read reviews and I go, well, now I'm not watching it because I like to make up my own mind anyway. Uh, if it, if something looked like shit to begin with and I really don't want to watch it, and then I read bad reviews, then I'm not gonna watch it. But that's not because of the reviews, usually. It's because I wasn't going to watch it anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if something looked like shit, and then I got... And then I read reviews, and they said, Oh, it's actually really good. Then I'll be like, Alright, I guess I'll watch it now. So, the opposite works with reviews. When something's, you know, getting praise, and I wasn't expecting to get praise, then I'll be like, I'll watch it. But, like, these reviews don't make me want to watch it any more than I already wanted to watch it. Because that first trailer was excellent. Even if you are not a He-Man fan, that trailer, I think, is really fucking good. Because they use the music perfectly. The animation spectacular. Even if you don't care about He-Man, I think that show is going to be fun. I think. I, I, it will probably work better for you if you don't care about He-Man. Because if he's not in the fucking show, you're not going to be like, oh no. Not that He-Man was like a deep character. But still, he's like part of people's childhoods. And like, oh, whoa, new He-Man. I love He-Man. All the lore and shit. The lore for He-Man is nuts. For Master of the Universe, it's crazy. It's, de it's deep too. You can get deep into it. And it's weird. But, um... Yeah, so it's not like it's just a kid's show. I mean, it is, I guess. But there is a lot to it where it's a kid's show, but it's not like, I don't know, Fairly Odd Parents where it's just like, oh, whatever, wacky shit. I mean, there's a lot of thought that went into some of the stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, queer baiting. Who is someone gay? Is He-Man gay? That would make the most sense, honestly. <laughs> you know, if that happened, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> but if it's somebody else, I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know enough of the, all the other characters to be like, oh, that makes sense or not. So, anyway, I don't. I don't really care, honestly. So anyway, there you go. Bye.